I'm with Anthony Gill. Anthony, congratulations on the win. The largest halftime deficit you guys have faced this season. What changed in the second half? Uh, I think we just decided to pick it up on defense. You know, um, we're a defensive team. We have a system here. We weren't abiding by it uh, in the first half. So we came out in the second half and really picked it up. It looked like early in the second half, coach called a couple clear outs for you to be able to get to your left shoulder and be able to make some plays. Why were you so effective in scoring in those isolations? I think uh, I was just being aggressive. You know, um, we have a key player down, Justin Anderson, and somebody has to step up and be aggressive. You know, we're all doing our thing as a team, and somebody has to step up individually and try to do something. So that's what I was trying to do. Most teams want to have the ball in their hands to win the game. You guys might be opposite. You'd rather be on a defensive possession. Uh, what about the stop there and take us through the last play to seal the game? Um, you know, that was a big stop. You know, Malcolm Brogdon spread out and um, tipped the ball and got the steal. You know, it was amazing for us. You know, like you said, we, we, we pride ourselves on defense. We'd rather be on the defensive end than the offensive end. You know, our crowd gets really excited for the defense, and we feed off of that. Anthony, you guys don't have much time to rest. You turn right back around on Monday night. You have Pittsburgh. Your thoughts on them? A uh, great team. You know, I think they just beat North Carolina today by a, a lot. So I think um, we just got to be ready, you know, go into practice, get prepared, and uh, get, get our minds mentally prepared. All right, thanks, Anthony. Thank you. All right, I'm Debbie Antonelli, and this is the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. Uh -huh.